Well, this video is uh, a bit juvenile in nature. It's going to be a review of these uh, pocket shot spice drum. Must be the favorite of teenagers everywhere. Those would have been around when I was a teenager. That would have been scary. Uh, when you get it, it shows this little bottle on the container and then you think that's what you're getting I suppose if you bought it at a store you would already know but I bought it online so I didn't have any idea but when you get it they are uh, these little disposable I don't know I think they're two ounce or two and a half ounce uh, packages to go any further on commenting on how wrong the entire idea is for society today, let's just comment on the quality of the rum. And having tasted this before, I can just go right ahead and tell you that it's uh, not bad at all. Now it says on, on here, imported from the Caribbean, Caribbean uh, rum with natural flavors but as far as a, a novelty uh, very juvenile type product uh, uh, very cool uh, I'm not so impressed with any kind of alcohol that's packed in any kind of plastic but uh, there you have it well, imported and distributed by Pocket Shot Inc. in uh, Fairfield yeah, Cal enough time spent on that for its uniqueness uh, and its wrongness and its uh, silliness, uh, I guess it gets a 7.5. Uh, it's not a disgusting uh, rum, and that's why it gets a, a rating that high. I don't know. Buy some for your, your tailgating or whatever. I was pleasantly surprised with the, uh, with the mild flavor of it. It says here they, they do the same concept in vodka, gin, brandy, whiskey, tequila rum and spice drum. I had never heard of them before and they were very reasonably priced so I got some of them just to do the review. Really I think it's kind of a retarded idea. I'm going to pair this video with another video and it's, and it's about these coasters, coasters, ashtrays. Uh, I believe they're actually coasters but you will see ashtrays like this. Now the marking on these comes in a, a variety of uh, styles. You'll have like a half moon shape marking, a straight marking, but the marking on these, uh, some of them will even be marked up around here. And then the marking can be extremely hard to find on these and see. Uh, probably something you're going to need a, a loop on in most cases, but when you're out picking, sometimes you can find sets of these really reasonably. So Normally I would clean this with a uh, with a hammer, which would be much more fun and entertaining. So I'm sitting here in the office and I wouldn't mind keeping the coaster itself around to use. We're just going to peel the sterling and give you all a weight on it because I I'm clueless to what the weight on these is. I, I do know that it's paper thin, and I'm sure that these weights on these vary, and you can uh, compare it to and, and keep in the back of your mind and say, uh, this item weighs so and so grams each. And I've actually found this one at a garage sale oh, a few weeks ago for 25 cents. I don't get out to nearly as many garage sales as I would like. guess this is, is probably going to be an average one. 
So anyhow, the weight on the, the sterling piece on this uh, coaster came in at 6.5 grams. So based on my buy price at 90% on one of these coasters cleaned today, we'd be talking $4.22. So there you go, 6.5 grams, $4.22 on the 28th of August 2013 so you know see sets of six of these sets of eight of them uh, you'll know where to go with that 6.5 grams thanks for watching goodbye and take care